Hello and welcome to my first ever Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be searching for and finding all five of the mob heads that are in the battle uh, lobby. As you can tell, we are in the new battle lobby. I think it's TU51. Um, we will be finding all five of the heads. So let's jump straight into it and let's find the skeleton head. Right, so here we are. First thing you have to do is go over to this tree foresty area and pick up yourself up a bow and some arrows. Once one stack of arrows is absolutely fine. Don't worry about them buttons on the wall, they are relevant to the heads. And as you as you can see, just past that fountain is a, is the tall building. So if you head up there, so just back to where we started, you need to go up to the top floor. So up this staircase, up this staircase and then you turn around when you get on the balcony and you look up essentially this is what I'll fire here no nope. one more shot let's do it in three come on there you go there's the skeleton head drops to the ground and that's what we need to go get bounce on the slime block skeleton head I'm gonna whack it put it on there you go skeleton head Right, now to do the zombie head. To start off with, you need to go in the building again, the same building we just went in to get the skeleton head, and as you can see, all of them bookshelves were flush against the wall. Go over to this button on the second floor. It's technically the first floor, isn't it? On the first floor, and as you can see, three of the bookshelves have moved backwards, revealing a gold block. So if you f go into the room that I'm about to go in, which is the room that contains the zombie head, there is a gold block, an iron block, a diamond, an emerald. What the gold block means is you should need to press the gold button first, then the iron, then the diamond, then the emerald, essentially. You need to do it, do it really quick, and if you do it quick enough, the chest will open, and you can put the zombie head on. There you go. Now let's move on to the creeper head, we'll do the creeper head next. What you need to do, and this is where the rest of the arrows come in use, come in handy, if you go over to one tower, obviously there is the both towers, you need to climb up both towers eventually, but go up the first tower, it doesn't matter which one you got first, I've gone up the right one, you need to go to the top of the staircase, all the way to the top, keep going, keep going, and there's a corridor, as you can see, there is a pressure plate, all you have to do is drop an arrow on the pressure plate. Oh, that's annoying, you can't press circle. Just drop some down. So that's one of the pressure plates. And identical to that on the other tower, there's another pressure plate. Can you fit? Yeah, you can fit through here. Jump onto the slide block. Ooh, baby. Jump down. Jump up. Up to the tower. You got, again, all the way up to the top. It doesn't take too long. I don't know if you... I think it's impossible to do all five heads What if you're online. You could try, but um, now you need to put some arrows on this pressure point. Pressure plate, sorry. And what this does is send some fireworks up in the air, which indicates you've got something right. And then it's actually really easy to do the creeper. You put arrows on them two pressure plates, and then you just jump down to the start where I started and as you can tell there's a block that's been moved and that is where you get the creeper head I'm gonna grab one put it on and there's the creeper head <laughs> hello right now on to the Steve head what you have to do here is around the map there will be swords located randomly I don't actually know where the swords are but I know what positions the swords need to be put in so if we jump over to oh, accidentally almost threw out an arrow if we jump into this house here there is four swords the diamond one needs to just be ticked once the gold one doesn't get touched the iron one needs to go directly up and the stone one needs to go just one tick to the left from up that chest will open and there's the Steve head. Again, put it on, showcase it, and there's the Steve head. 
Okay, and now for the last skull, it's the Wither Skeleton. And the Wither Skeleton is located in the Nether, isn't it? So if we jump over to the Nether section, you need to figure out how to get into the Nether. There isn't any buttons near this little iron bar section, but you do if you have to go into the tower, and you, as you see there, there's a little hole, you need to find the lever in this tower. So if you keep going up this staircase, there's a little hole. If you flick that lever and then jump down, the nether is open. This is the last skull for this video, and it's, again, fairly easy. Once you know how to do it, you're not going to forget. And there's the chest. Put it get the last with a skull put it on nicely done right now in the next like video I'm going to make is going to be how to get the ender dragon skull and if you can look through the iron bars if you remember that is the old battle lobby obviously we used to be able to try to break out of it this time we're gonna try and break into it okay so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please join me on searching for the Ender Dragon Skull in the next video. Like and subscribe. And goodbye.